What's up guys and welcome back to another video. It is Wine with Fabe and today I got a very, very special bottle of wine for you guys and it's one of my absolute, I would say, top five, top five, top five. It's absolutely one of my top five favorite wines to drink. What I got for you guys right here is, I don't know. I got introduced to this wine, this particular bottle because I won it in a like, in like a prize when I was working for the winery. And it is a, Drum roll, please. Oh, it is the Jet Black 2017 Syrah from Alexandra and Nicole Sellers. Now this right here, guys, is one of my absolute favorite top five, man. And it, the crazy thing is, the company that I work for right now, the job that I'm working for, their account, I've actually met the winemakers before and it's like out of like, Random like I didn't even know that was them, but I help them out some time time for my job right now It is the jet black so raw look at that beautiful label Boom Let's get a I'm very excited to share this wine with you guys So let you know, let's let's just let's just stop stop with the talking. Let's just let's just unwind this now First things first with this bottle though before I open it look at the label look at the presence of the bottle Does not not catch your eye jet black beautiful bottle it's a dark tint to the bottle you know nice just simple simple black label with the a for alexander nicole sellers when i first saw this bottle i was just hooked on immediately because i thought i was like yo this is so simple like so sleek you know so majestic it, it's it's beautiful like i think it's beautiful just because i mean you as you guys can tell one of my favorite colors is black i like to keep it simple and um the color of the wine too is just phenomenal. So let's go ahead and just do the favors. Let's uncork this and get it. Uh, this is a tough one. That's a tough one. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. Nice. So the presence of this cork, as you can tell, it says Alexander Wine Cellars, Destiny Ridge, a nice little purple look on the bottom of the cork so man i just got off of work it's been so excited just to share this video with you guys and just review this wine now this was made in 2017 it is 2020 right now look at that beautiful color that beautiful color it's so purple look at that it is so purple oh i'm excited look at that look at that swirl so dark so nice look at that it is beautiful the wine glass is cold, so it's going to be a nice, refreshing wine. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see the color. It is beautiful. So, so where this uh, wine was made from the Horse Heaven Hills uh, vineyards. And if you guys are not too familiar with the Horse Heaven Hills, one of the best places to grow your grapes, grow your vineyard. The reason why is because they have nice soil. The soil that they got is a sandy loam soil. So a lot of the water and a lot of the nutrition kind of absorbs into the vine perfectly now one of the things that i really enjoy about alexander nicole is that it's a small winery you know and a lot of it's really really handcraft it's not like a not a lot of it is not made you know they take the time with the craft that's what i love about small wineries is that they actually take the time to make it and you get to visit their wineries as well too and you get to see like how everything's made and it's not just a huge warehouse the fruit is handpicked you can't go wrong with handpicked fruit um 25 of the clusters were actually fermented with everything so so during the rind process when you get the grapes through the distemmer so the distemmer what it does is this pretty much like takes the little grapes off of the stems and throws it into a bin and that's when you get like to start mashing it start fermenting it all the juices flow so what alexander and nicole did or the winemakers for them did is they actually put 25 percent of the whole entire cluster like with the stems and threw it inside the bin and let that ferment for a little bit and what that does is actually brings out more of a flavor into the wine. Um, it brings out a nice smooth tannins. It's not too harsh. It's really, really smooth and silky. And uh, it's really exciting. It's like I said, guys, making wine is a masterpiece. And you know, it's beautiful. Like the bottle itself is going to tell you a story. It's a nice velvety, silky, smooth tannin taste. Uh, a lot of people that go wine tasting, they, they like to say it's, it's, a, it's chewy. So what it means by being chewy is that once you taste it, 
and you kind of like swirl around in your mouth a little, a little bit right on your palate like it lingers and then that's that chewy taste so when you kind of like salviate it's kind of gross but anyway so we're gonna swirl this for a little bit get the aroma out smell it it's oh bro you can dang you can really smell blackberries in this blackberries i'm not even joking this is like no cap no nothing you can smell blackberries in it ripe plums Ooh, and it, it has that nice peppery that nice peppery smell and the legs on this is amazing too they run phenomenal look at that i don't know i don't know if you guys can see it like i said from the previous videos but if you have a nice wine glass and you see those legs just running it is beautiful let's go ahead and try it for the first taste test bro they do not fail bro they hit every time that is a beautiful wine beautiful wine Let's taste another one oh my god and like i said by the tannins being really really chewy you taste it you like it's i don't know how to explain it bro you just gotta you gotta get a bottle for yourself but it's the tannins is not harsh whatsoever. It's really soft and it lingers on your palate for a really long time. So you can still taste it minutes after you drink it. Um, it's really soft, it's really fruity, and it's spicy. It has a nice spice flavor to it. That is nice, holy crap. If y'all think that the hot to trot red blend was fruity, this is even fruity. And, and it's kind of weird because a hot to chalk, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on to that wine to make it a go-to table wine. And you know, it's not really too complex. This one, I would like to say it's complex. So it's 96% Syrah, 3% Cabernet Franc, and 1% Grenache. Now those three grapes, and I'll continue this later on to the next videos, are one of my top favorite grapes just to blend in a red blend. And the reason why they don't call this a red blend is because there's one predominant grape that's just taking over everything. And, that, and that's why you can't really call it a red blend. You can just call it what it is, it's a Syrah. That is super good. This one right here, man, you can never, oh man, this might move from the top five to the top three. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. Top five to the top three. Now the barrel that this was aged in plays a lot of parts into the why the wine kind of tastes what it tastes like. Um, the barrel that it was in, it was aged for 21 months, 21, 21, 21, 21 months and 32% new French oak and 68% was two to three years of a new French oak. And I'll explain, and one of these days I'm going to have to explain what barrels actually do to wines in the next video. So just to give you guys a simple example of what a barrel can do is um, so since this, since this was predominantly aged in a French oak barrel, that is why you're getting the nice peppery, spicy flavors because uh, when winemakers look at barrels, they look at, the, look at what they want for the body of the wine. The body of the wine is just the texture, the overall performance of the wine. And you know, you can never go wrong with new French oak or old French oak. You can never go wrong with the old French oak it's gonna leave it nice and smooth. And that's why you're not getting that like harsh, like, I don't know, there's some wines out there that kind of just give you that ugh, taste. Like you're just like giving that sour, like, mm. you know, like, like you, you try and you're just like, what? But anyways, uh, new French oak and old French oak, like just any type of French oak, it, it's predominantly just, it gives you that nice smoky hazelnut, flavor so think of it as coffee so coffee and wine one of my two favorite things in the world coffee and wine I mean there's there's craft to it and also like how you roast it or how you even age it plays a big component to how your wine is going to turn out too so that aftertaste is insane I, dude like throughout this whole video I've just been chugging this wine because it's so freaking good but that's your 2017 Syrah I'm gonna give it a thumbs up it moved from top five to top three 
and honestly, it's just so much going on. So this wine, shout out to Alexander and Nicole Sellers. You know, like you guys are awesome. You guys make really, really amazing wines from white wines to red wines to sweet wines, everything. If you guys like this video, go ahead, hit the thumbs up down below. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. I'm posting every Tuesdays and Fridays, like I said, in my social media platforms, Tuesdays and Fridays, I'm posting a video and it's going to be a new video. And it's so random. Like I go from wine to music, to family, to my puppy, to my beautiful fiance, everything. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for this journey. Um, this is the Jet Black Straw 2017 for the wine review. It's going to give a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what wines you want me to review next. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video with Wine with Fave. Pour yourself a glass. Thank you guys so much. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. And age fine like red wine. Peace.